See, I love that story. I love the fact that, you know, you know what it's like to, to not have much. You know what it's like to fight to, like, move yourself forward. Uh, and you've continued to do that in other areas of your life, like with even your health. You know, uh, when we met and I remember talking to you, you were like, I'm taking control of my health. And you did. So, like, even with that, if you, I mean, you treated that like as your own business, like you're the CEO of your own health, right? Mm -hmm. And so, in that story, did you, did you notice a lot of the things that you had to work through in your earlier years and those struggles you could apply even when you took control of your health and got rid of, I mean, I don't know how, if you want to talk about how much weight you dropped, but mm. if, you want to, if you want to talk about it, go for it. <laughs> I'm super, I'm super honest about it. I, okay. So I've been a pretty healthy person all my life. Um, you know, but I had a, I had a battle with alcohol all my life. Obviously it, the fruit doesn't fall far from the tree. Um, I was a partier. Uh, alcohol was never, a big issue until I got into the network marketing space because more pressure, more stress, I would, I would panic, you know, when I would be around people, I wanted to, you know, Oh, I'll have a glass of wine. I love wine, by the way. I love wine. And so I would, you know, have drinks and whatever. It held me back in many ways, but also when you're trying to lose weight, I was really good about on Monday doing the detox every Monday, <laughs> like, ah, just start Monday. I'll kick it in gear. And I was really committed and dedicated. So how I ran business was how I ran my health and fitness, I was consistent. I never, I was like, if you knew me, you knew Shiloh's probably on a plan. She's working out. But when I met Robert, I was going through serious stress. So I had started to slip a little bit because my stress was taking over, which meant my alcohol was going up. And I knew this, but I wasn't sharing it with anybody. And it was really becoming a struggle because it was becoming the crutch to get me through my stress. It hit a breaking point. One year I was at an event and I went up to the room, put some pills in my mouth and I was going to down the alcohol and be done because I was so stressed. I was just crushing. I was destroying myself. Um, I had gained some weight, but it, it was just nothing was, it was like my life was spiraling and I decided not to end my life and I decided to go home early and handle some things. And I did. I handled it um, and took the next six, seven months to heal. And Robert came in at this time too. And I, I talked to him about some stuff and we worked on a, a better plan and I started eating balanced. I wasn't eating like the fads. I wasn't doing all the crazy things. Right. You know, we all do that. I was the queen of the fad diet and I had to let it go because it wasn't working. My hormones had changed. My whole body had changed. And yeah. as I was healing, I did gain weight. Um, I gained even more weight. So I had gained about 20 pounds and then I added about 10 more and then I got sick. Um, my body went through some major crazy transitions. I gained like 10, 15 pounds of water weight within two week period. So I went way up and then I went way down and that was tough. But during that time, I also, my, my battle with alcohol was coming to a crashing halt as I had a complete mental breakdown and had to make a change. And so it was last summer I decided to quit drinking forever and lost 34 pounds, but I stuck with my plan and I still work out. So I don't want people to think, oh, she just quit drinking and everything just fell off her. No, I worked <laughs> hard. It helped. <laughs> when you're not chasing alcohol, and, and Robert knows this, and, and Barbara, you know this, alcohol, you're chasing it. Like you have to plan everything around your drinks because there's so much sugar and there, it just slows you down. Your metabolism slows down. And so it was just a lot easier but I still had to work on it. And, and I'm, I'm finishing up a 75 hard right now. I'm on day 50. So I look pretty darn good. I'm not at my perfect, oh my God, perfect. There's 18% body fat type of stuff, but I look good and I feel good. And that's what's important is I feel good and I'm very healthy.